opened in 1977. Well, it's kind of a long story, but we had a jukebox, so we started buying 45s for the jukebox. And then my husband started coming home with the albums, and I said, they're not going to fit on the jukebox, but he liked the artwork. Mr. C bowled one night a week, so I started putting 45s in alphabetical order in a shoebox. What do you think? He said, you're wasting your time. What kind of music do we? Yeah. Well, we like surf, 50s, 60s, jazz, anything that's old. We buy collections from people or somebody passes away and, you know, they call and want to know if we buy. We don't carry anything current. Uh, we just carry basically out of print, but it's coming to the point that we're going to have to do 80s and I don't like 80s music. I don't like the language. I don't like, it. you can't understand anything. Oh yes, yes, we get a lot of repeat customers. Well, yes, because record players are coming back. And what I'm really seeing is mainly girls, maybe 16 to 20. They're coming in, I got a record player for my birthday, I got a record player for Christmas. They're buying Frank Sinatra, Bing Crosby, Dean Martin. I really like to see that. I don't really have a bestseller. It could be a Zeppelin today, it could be The Doors tomorrow, and you, you never know. What I really feel bad about is they'll come in for something special, and they see the wall, they see all these records, they forget what they came in here for. My husband passed, Mr. C passed away. It'll be two years in November, and I'm trying to hold the store together. I'm still kind of uncertain what I'm gonna do. Thank you. Thank you so much. Awesome. I love that song. I do too. I don't know why, but I do.